Thank you very much. I'm pleased to join with my colleagues uh, from our Chambers of Commerce and the partnership that the Center for Economic Growth shares with them is very important and critical to the wheel, hub, and spoke that Chuck mentioned. My discussion this afternoon is on workforce development and 21st century education initiatives in our region. As I mentioned earlier, the Center for Economic Growth is the region's 11-county regional economic development organization working to grow existing companies, attract new business and investment, and prepare the region for growth, completed its strategic planning process focusing on infrastructure, which Mark just discussed, focusing on entrepreneurship, which is the purpose of today's conference, and also workforce and education. The issue of workforce development, whether that's incumbent jobs for existing employees at existing companies, whether it's for the unemployed or the underemployed, as well as how we prepare today's students for the jobs of tomorrow, is a critical component of economic development, not only from a regional perspective, but from the perspective of each and every business person, as well as each and every person working in our region. If we are truly to capitalize and leverage the investment that our region has made in public-private partnerships over the last 15 years, we need to be sure that we have the pipeline of workers to ensure the success of our region's growth and innovation and expansion. It's a significant determinant of whether we as a region can capitalize on our economic momentum. A lot of our partners and stakeholders in workforce and education training are doing great things in the region to move the ball forward improving the preparedness of students for 21st century careers. For example, in project-based learning, increased emphasis on STEM, directing federal workforce training assistance to our key career technology clusters, and pursuing creative solutions for matching skilled workers to employers with evolving personal needs, personnel needs. Tech Valley High School is a terrific example in which is touted not only throughout New York State, but throughout the nation as an example of innovation at the K through 12 level. So is the Clean Technology and Sustainable Industry Early College High School program that has been pioneered by the Boston Spa School District in partnership with Hudson Valley Community College, NYSERDA, and many local businesses. And they're one of the three awardees in this region of Governor Cuomo's P-TECH initiative to market and capitalize the experience in Brooklyn, where the president recently visited at the school that was initiated by the state under the governor's leadership with IBM. And in fact, CEG is a partner with the, all three of the P-TECH awardees in this region. And I think there were 16 P-TECH awards in New York State, and we were very fortunate to have three right here in the capital region. Our institutions of higher education are an important component of this pipeline as well, constantly creating and adapting their curriculum and their programs to respond to industry needs, as well as engaging with K through 12 spheres to help engage younger students to learn about technology careers and the college experience. And certainly Rensselaer is at the forefront under Dr. Jackson's leadership in this arena. CEG helps to facilitate, convene, aggravate, ag aggravate at times, but to aggregate <laughs> and amplify those efforts. We are in a regular dialogue uh, with our local governments, with our K through 12 superintendents, through BOCES, through our community colleges, four-year schools and research universities, and our workforce training entities. As I mentioned briefly this morning, we serve as NYSTAR's Regional Technology Development Center, providing workforce training and education to manufacturing and technology companies through a program coordinated by Empire State Development Corporation, as well as the, new, as, as well as the governor's recently announced Fuse Hub initiative, matching manufacturers with suppliers and with training. We have a close working relationship at CEG with the Capital Region Workforce Investment Board, providing technical career awareness, business intermediary services, and the opportunity to help companies take advantage of funding sources for company training. We work with global foundries on the initiative 
Tech Valley Connects for Education and Jobs, a 13-county lab laboratory to trial the most innovative practices in education throughout our region. We also serve as the Capital Region's STEM Hub, a program that was initiated by Dr. Jackson several years ago through a grant uh, from the Bates Foundation and that has recently been uh, facilitated by the State University of New York. And we do our best to promote and advance groundbreaking educational work being done at places like Tech Valley High and our early high school colleges. We sponsor a tech career fair with the Times Union. And we are, along with Mark Egan at the Albany Colony Regional Chamber, very involved with Chancellor Zimfer's Albany Promise Initiative, where we have adopted three elementary schools in the heart of the city of Albany to bring business, social services, and educational leaders together to help and advance the cause of the students in those disadvantaged districts. We're also involved with the Federal Trade Adjustment Assistance Grant, where our community colleges are working together across the state on industry cluster initiatives to help develop curriculum and training across the region. I'd like to take one last moment to encourage you to participate in these initiatives. We need the business community. We need our educational community. We need our government partners to be at the table to continue to work to advance the K through 12 and workforce development pipeline that will ensure that the companies in our region who are here to grow and who want to be here have the workforce they need to be successful for the rest of all of our regional opportunities. Thank you very much.